When compared to the other worlds, the map view for this one was vastly less disturbing. I would go as far as to call this tolerable, I wouldn't. Mario moved towards yeah, this 4 is pretty 1 fucking intolerable. into whatever nightmarish scenario this stage had to offer. The stage had the usual kinks of any level in this game. The sky was black drink, which made the white clouds vibrantly contrasted. Contrast, even. A reversed version of the ground level once again played. The wood, as it had been before, was yeah, decaying wasting wood. <laughs> and wasting away beneath Mario's feet. The pipes were faded and cracked in various places. All of the enemies, still possessed, the same carnivorous look on their looks of their inter-game counterparts. There was, oddly enough, a startling abundance of them. Koopas and Goombas danced around the ritualistic manor. Mario was visibly petrified, and why do you guys keep reading every time I fucking start reading this? Because, uh, like the universe and everything's quite an interesting story. As he tried to avoid them, my arrow keeps kept, me kept them inches away from his life. Amidst all of the din, there was how ho there hovered a solid so uh, solitary power-up. It was regular in appearance, nothing was outwardly off with this, which greatly surprised me, not knowing what horrid item it contained. I bumped it in blind vein. That maybe, that maybe it could help me. You can most likely infer from the indentation I made in the preceding paragraph that I was completely mistaken. What appeared next is what I dreaded. That damn whistle was sitting there, blood washing over it as it rose from the yellow square. I sat there almost beckoning the, my name. With, with the imposing enemies, I knew I had no other choice. I took the weapon from its place, fruitlessly hoping for the best, readily expecting for the worst. The on-screen foes ceased all activity. Their faces returned to a neutral blank state, bank, bank state, apparently. So we're all dollars now. So bank statement. <laughs> Five minutes they stood in place like this, not moving a muscle. I would have got bored after five minutes, turned off the console, stopped reading this, and I'd go, <laughs> go and grab myself a job or something. I don't fucking know, but there you go. I jumped around and tried to kill them, but to jump, no avail. Jump, jump, around. It's almost as if they were frozen within the confines of space, of time itself, even. As if for specifically them. Uh, all interstellar and physical continuity came to a careening halt. Then they began to move. After the first couple had did, I realised what truly was going on. This was a mass suicide. What? <laughs> they, all, they all had guns. Most of them had just <laughs> jumped off the, the nearest aid. hole. But others performed incredible feats of acrobatics and medi medical possibility. <laughs> one goo... One, what? what? <laughs> acrobatics and medical... Like, was it like some sort of acrobatic surgery? <laughs> you keep flipping over the table while doing some of the bypass. One Cooper was bashing his head on a pipe. Oh. Another Goomba jumped six or seven times on his own height, turned Wait. around in the air, and sent blood flying everywhere with a great splat. Soon all the enemies were dead. Their remains were spontaneously uptrunked from the trench below. You're scared, yeah? Because I fucking will. Right. A grisly mixture of guts and gore littered the entire remainder of the level. Mario shuffled through the remains. He did the truffle shuffle. Tears. Streaming on his face throughout. Random deep bassy tones played with nothing else to accompany. Realistic squishy sounds were emitted every time Mario took a step on a scattered carnage. He continued to cry for the duration of the level. The whistle faded into view and followed Mario a few inches above the he his head. Like a... Pestis... What? Like a virgin for the very first time. Oh, pestilential virus. After he cleared it, of course, the whistle went straight through his chest as Mario was headed to World 5. The game has a habit of putting me in, putting me where it needs to be, so I closed the window without saving. When this all of that death really racked my nerves. Alright, um, as for the king, the duke realised what was in his mind when, after capturing the Duchy of Urbino, he invaded Tuscany and the king's got wait, that's the wrong thing, sorry. <laughs> Uh, sure, it might be a game, but with the things that this game has had to present me, a l whole load of boredom, I'm starting to lose my perception of reality. <laughs> it's and so, so the dull. fuck am I? I'm starting to wonder to myself, why the fuck am I reading this creepypasta at 10 to, te 10 to 6 on a Sunday evening? I'm starting to wonder what is real and what is inside the computer. These two things are quickly fusing into one. Well, you both have a motherboard. Ha! 
Wow! <laughs> the lines! Da, 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 they're blurring! Pretty soon the days will start fading together. And by then I'll have lost all the sense of reality. I hope to see you all tomorrow. I don't know how much longer I can put up with this game. It's not a game. I couldn't tell you what it is. June the 11th, 2012. Uh, there have not been any more mishaps with you all so far, which puts me at rest. Because you don't think I'm insane. <laughs> as of today's gameplay, I fear for my own life. I feel as if something is coming after me. Every lurking. Seeking me out as to make immediate my demise. Never before has anything like this ever happened. Ever. Never life. before has anything electronic made me truly afraid. Truly scared. He's never been in the back room at Cyberdog. <laughs> and truly shocked at how shit a story and long it could be. I most likely will get no sleep tonight. Nothing in particular occurred. It's just dot dot dot. We'll find out below. Will we? I was in the middle of the cloud portion of World 5. Terrible. The sky theme played except it was drastically slow and demonic. Whispers were clearly audible. The whispers... We're almost the same as the ones I heard back in World 2. Mario was outfitted with a Tanuki well. suit. Which naturally suited the environment. There was nothing there except two things, a red dot and a card game. I'm gonna oh, speed up a little I'm gonna card. speed up a little bit. The yeah. card game icon looks similar enough for its regular game clone, except spades rolled across it in the red background instead of blue one. Now was for whatever reason, I was allowed to choose which path to take. I chose I chose to do the card game, hoping it would serve as some kind of reprieve from all the madness. That was not the right choice. <laughs> Toad didn't explain the rules of the game like normal, instead I was plunged into the rolling slots beside the spl uh, spl dispatch, but, but beside the slots was a risky scenario. Toad was on a guillotine, he looked at the camera with timid, teary eyes, he was also vigorously shaking his head, he shook his hands in a futile effort to free himself from the appalling apparatus but nothing came of it the entire picture engulfed me so much i didn't even notice the slots i cautiously pressed them trying as best i could to line them up given the stress of the situation i failed and to pay the personal price the blade fell with breathtaking speed toad was beheaded right then and there his head did a couple of spins uh. in the air before landing in the convenient place nearby basket the initial spins <laughs> flayed blood across the white room Wait, do you say flayed blood? Uh, uh, yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, blood yeah. isn't flaying, like whipping and ripping the skin off. I'm gonna take the skin off this blood. Blood filled the basket and filled it up. Okay, filled was implied. Toad's body <laughs> spraying blood from the stump where his head used to be out of nowhere. The blood whistle came down and struck his torso. The scene faded out with black to the map. I was moved to the only thing remaining, which was the destination World 5. Silently. Silent lightning streaked across the licorice black sky. That's scary. Grey clouds. <laughs> yeah, licorice tastes Just... terrible. <laughs> oh, God. And Mario with I like licorice. Ugh. With the only other if you like licorice, like, comment, subscribe. No! Other consistently don't, principled licorice things. Licorice is terrible. If you don't like licorice, like, comment, subscribe. As far as everything goes, silhouettes of winged demons flew and danced in the background. I tried turning into the stone structure of the Tanuki suit so famous for, but it failed, so no music played, none at all. Demons would be heard whispering in what sounded like a variety of languages. Spanish, German, Latin were the most prevalent ones. A primal fear of the unknown grip uh, of the unknown gripped me as I blindly navigated the level. Judging by the look on Mario's face, it played him also. This stemmed from childhood, which made it all the worse. I not only felt that Mario was in danger, I felt like my livelihood and well-being were in danger. At that wait, 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 moment, wait, his lively, like, yeah, his, as, like his job. Yeah, his livelihood of that, If I didn't give this Mario, come around and... Game. One of the demons swooped down. I would say the most accurate way to describe this creature would be a miniature Cthulhu. Its claws plucked out Mario's eyes, making them profusely bleed. He what? unleashed an ephemeral, I don't know how to pronounce this word actually, ephemeral, yet bone-chilling cry, cry uh, after the searing, I can't pronounce cry, is after the searing hard, isn't it? pain, relented, Mario trudged on. His face was now void of any and all expression. It was because he knew as well as I did that he would be torn apart brutally and slowly, but it would happen. After a few more seconds, the second demon came. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> he came. It was identical in appearance to the first. I. S I was very lazy at it describing things. It swooped down with, with grim, black bat wings, as did its portion of damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just gonna start crying up his portion. After it was said and done, don't you just want him to hurry up and kill the himself? The thing had, yeah, had torn Mario's arms off. Mario stopped dead in his tracks. He sobbed <laughs> loudly. Stop dead. Get yeah. it? Knowing the worst was yet to come, I felt so sorry <laughs> for Damn. him that the words escaped me. He continued with a morose look. His normal walk slowed to a shuffle. 
No. Truffle shuffle. Not a few seconds after that, the final solitary spectre came down. He did his work with one big slash. Mario was now without his legs, and his lump of a body sat there. He sadly wept in utter despair. <laughs> he knew the end was near. He turned to me and choked out this. I am a sorry you had to witness this. Everything. <laughs> Those. Oh, that, that proves that he's real, that he's really, he's really considered towards the person who's making him, you know, yeah. get himself delimbed. Oh, yeah. Those were his last spoken words on World 5 before a gaggle of Hell's minions descended and tore apart what remained of him. His entrails were liberally exposed <laughs> as they regurgitated in their cruel feast. Oh, wow, haven't we had when this whole When the dust before? cleared, a mere shell of him remained. All you could see of his open stomach were his open spine and back muscles. As I had predicted, the blood whistle came to transport him to whatever hellish situation it contemplated would be worse than the last. Consider it sheer luck if I make another post tomorrow. If I do, it may be my luck. I Please, don't. Please, God! I hope it's your last. Right. Can't we look at someone else's, uh, you know, it's someone else's blog? June 12, 2012. I'm starting to not care anymore. Well, <laughs> so the fuck am I? It's starting. <laughs> I'm in the throes of such a severe depression and it's all starting to fade away. Everything. School. Friends. Family. You have such a social life that you've got all this to type up. You, you know uh, when he had that suicide rush a few days ago? Like, well, he's clearly easily influenced because he's been playing a game and he's just like, he's projecting like emotions yeah. and... Yeah. It's what? safe to say that this game is single-handedly ruining my life, so I'm going to continue playing it. I think you're ruining your yes. life. Yeah. He's such your sadness has never, uh, has never become me ever before in my life. My grandfather died when I was young. Playing Super Mario Brothers 3. I <laughs> oh, would you love it. But that didn't amazing. close to that didn't close to equate what I'm feeling now. It's a direct result of the level that I play today. Which so, I'll get into right now. So did he basically say that um his <coughs> grandfather dying was not nearly as bad as this? Pretty yeah. much. And also he's it, it, all these paragraphs are the same, it's just like, oh you get into the story. And then we'll get into the story. And then we'll see the story and then shit. It never comes. Yeah. Well six appeared. Ice was everywhere. This is the one part that correlates to the unaltered version. Nothing else did. The ice was none other than frozen realistic blood. Possibly. There's only a solitary dot on the oh, map. Oh no, wait, that's DuckTales. <laughs> Mario entered it, and I knew whatever it was to pass, it would be tenfold of what had already happened. Pure sappable white was the only thing that constitutes of the backdrop. Blocks of blood, ice. Hey! Seaman? served as a slippery ground. Mario slid along just as I controlled him. He appeared happy, overjoyed, might be more accurate. Here he had nothing to deal with, just him and the open space and the blood. Five minutes passed and you guys have eaten all the fucking Pringles. Okay. Then ten. All the way through Mario was happy as I let him run around the fly. He had regained the raccoon tail, in brackets. It seemed like he had all the time in the world. The clock ticked and ticked and all seemed right in the game. Making the way through the level, I found out it had Breaking no the end. Love. Time, the love. oddly enough, would turn out to be the ultimate enemy. At the 20 minute mark, the, the tempest began to pick up. Oh, here we go. A flurry of snow and wind ensnared wait, wait. Mario. Oh, right. okay. Never mind. Uh, brother. And, now we, and he now began to curl his tail. His teeth chattered and his body shook. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm coming down from my little drop. He soon had to sit down. Mario and I soon figured out how the game planned to snuff him out this time, with ice and time. He sat there and tried to eat himself. This, needless to say, was a less than a feeble attempt. Nothing but the creepy bass repeated from World 5. Mario's skin soon began to turn a light blue. Nevertheless, he sat there and brooded in the icy cold. It then that the ultimate Edward <laughs> feeling of sadness had encapsulated me. I couldn't fathom Dad my sympathy. Rudy. I couldn't begin to describe how bad I felt at the fact that this death was absolutely inevitable and that there was nothing I could do to stop it. Just like all death. Just simply watch in shock. And dejected. Oh, yeah, I could get him the potion of immortality to him. Frostbite soon took his hands. 
Ten minutes after that, World 6 Mario was no more. Just a frozen block of a man, sitting there in the middle of the infinite winter wilderness. <laughs> just cuts away, it's that scene from uh, The Shining. After the sadness came feelings of sheer loneliness. I felt abandoned and alone, just like Mario, <laughs> sitting in the middle of that ice field. I felt okay, I can understand why Mario might feel abandoned and alone. <coughs> why do you feel abandoned alone when you've apparently cut yourself off? Yeah, you're the one who's abandoned everyone. I felt as if no one would save me from the torture of this game because you probably pushed everyone else away, you absolute cunt. <laughs> Oh, I've had what? enough of this shit. Right. The blood whistle came down and made a chunk sound as if it impaled his chest, taking him to the next level of hell. I closed the emulator window like always and ended this subjected torture, self-subjected torture. All right. I okay. will bring myself to play this game tomorrow, but mark my words, I'll play the last tomorrow and this block will hopefully live on in memory so my tribulation can be seen by the world. Huzzah! Be here, same time, same oh, place. Go if you want, mate. Uh, this is the last one. Thank fuck for that. Jesus Christ. This right. is the longest one, though. The last. Okay. We'll, we'll do half. Shall, well. shall, we can do it in song. All right. Okay. Me, 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 me. June the 13th, 2012. It is ironic indeed that today is the 13th. The unlucky number, the unlucky day. That's not irony. <laughs> 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 I suppose today isn't completely horrible. Today is the last day I had to play this wretched game. What, you had to? You had to. This horrifyingly absurd remake of what I used to see as a wonderful game will soon be out of my life. <laughs> along cool. with everything else. So, with this being the last post. His friend came up to him. I know we've gone over a few times, but it's like, here's this game. <laughs> it's a horrible, like, terror thing remake. And then, because he, you know, doesn't know, I don't know, anything, he seems to be upset by the fact that it's a horrible game. That's supposed to be I scary. Don't, I don't understand. I'll, I'll look at this sentence you're about to read. I suppose I can finally be honest about my true intentions <laughs> ever since I finished World 2. I thought I'd get a stiffy from watching it. I'm going to take my own life. Well, good on you, mate. I wish you'd take it fucking sooner! Yeah, all the best. A few days ago. You're killing all of us. Best, all of us. Best of luck with it, mate. <clears throat> this game has caused me sorrow on such an ineffable level that there is no other option. What? Life will never be the same. Mom and Dad, I love you. Michael and Kelsey, you guys were good. Listen, Mom and Dad, they have a lot of valuable lessons to teach you. Oh, yeah. Lessons that I learned, but thou can be never apply again. Sing it. No what you... <laughs> now for what your 75,000 followers read this post, the rest of the game! Hell itself is what the game brought me to, I suppose. That this was intentioned to convey World 8, what the fuck does that mean? No, not no, no, <laughs> not hell. Worse. Then my phone interrupting, <laughs> bodies were chained up in the background. Background! Enduring a myriad of tortures. Torture! The only pain wasn't that strictly felt from injuries though. The coughs and dying wheezes and vomiting. Dying wheezes! In the background, reeked of pestilence, pestilence. and suffering. Fires emblazoned certain people as certain well. Certain people, so suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> certain people. The flames had an actual burning quality to them, not like regular 8 bit fire. Burning oh. all we Flesh, eyes, and other internal organs and tissues constituted the walls and ground. <laughs> if the hell I'm certainly going to exist. I think it looks something like this. We didn't stop the fire! Mario stood before a princess stood still. Did we get a comment that someone asked if more singing after the Pokemon video? I actually think somebody did, not on that one, but I think somebody on, on a oh. video did say more singing. So I that's just, your fault, whatever cunt said that. I, I, I feel happy that we sang. Oh, her well, dress it makes it go quicker when you sing ripped about in it. several places and splattered with blood. Yes. Her eyes gleamed red. Take a shot. <laughs> the flames <laughs> casting an evilly maniacal allure to her appearance. Bowser and his six sons were tied to wooden poles and terrified looks on their faces. Wendy, for some reason, the didn't fuck appear. Is Wendy? Anywhere in this game. I don't know, but she wasn't in the game. In one hand, Peach brandished a sizable dagger. In the other, the blood whistle. The blood whistle. She walked over to Bowser. <laughs> 
and looked him in the eyes. Looked him in the eyes! Technical limitations slightly hindered the interpretation of what events passed. Really? It hasn't fucking hindered it before, <laughs> mate. Seriously. You've had, we've had massacres, we've had the blood whistle, we've had well, the fucking... Blood we, we've get. had two girls, one cup shit going on here. Mate, just throw it but out, it's fine. <laughs> Apparently it now we get technical limitations when two people look at each other. was easy enough to understand what was going on. Is this bloody Blood Whistle the musical now? Yeah. Through his gag, Bowser pleaded with her not to harm him. She brought the knife close to him and he froze up. He was obviously paralyzed with fear. Her mouth got close to his ear. And text rolled along at the bottom of the screen <laughs> Conveying the text of what played out given the sound limitations This is what enabled Mario to speak in the past Shh, she whispered <laughs> Wow, that was worth it Bowser's in it spilled on the floor in a great heap He let out a monstrous 8-bit roar of pain as this happened <sighs> <laughs> Peach left, her red eyes reflecting whatever evil had possessed her. The princess proceeded to ev eviscerate all six of his sons. Mario did nothing but look on in horror, as if his mortal enemies were turned in heart by a woman he once loved very much. I'm going insane, I'm just gonna fucking raid this now. His face soon contorted into one of the one of loathing. He had become he had come all this way to find her the very girl he yeah. wished to save had been taken over by an extraterrestrial evil, also known as E.T. the video game. An evil that would only not, not only haunt Mario, but me as well. Oh. The sort of evil that doesn't go away when you turn off the game. The kind of dark force that follows into the bed chambers and steals your soul. What? And what? your bed, ch bed chamber? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what time machine did you hop on to have a fucking <laughs> bed chamber? Princess Toadstool paused for a couple of seconds, and then Mario, and then came a Mario with the knife. Wasn't she referred to as Peach earlier? I and don't care. No, did. no, who, Peach like, is the same person. I know, it's the same person. Yeah, but who gives a toss? Hey there, Mario! She said as she toyed with a knife. I got a little shot for me, so I pushed him over the edge! <laughs> oh, you see? See, edge, ladies and gentlemen, is a play on words. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> Wait a minute. You're right. <laughs> Correct! I started to move Mario, but nothing happened. He stood there, afraid of what she would do. She brutally slashed up in his arms, <laughs> legs, and abdomen. Abdomen. And shortly thereafter, the princess produced some salt from her billowing dress and so got it all up. over him. He screamed again, I'm moving. The princess peach you used to know is long gone. So the power the of the blood whistle consumed that girl and made her made the way for me. Evil bitch. And speaking of which, she's a bitch. <laughs> She continued as she produced the blood whistle. Here it is, hear its cry. With a mocking kiss on the cheek, she began to play with Mario's perverse song of the blood whistle. It's no fun in the way the last reserve of good in May. It was hit by, by an invisible force to the flames. <laughs> he cried out as they consumed him. This is a song by the Kaiser Chiefs. Peach <laughs> Pitch oh, no. <laughs> shut the whistle, making it strike him directly in the heart. He continued to wallow in utter anguish as she walked away and she left. He looked into my eyes and bore me this parting message via the text at the bottom of the screen. Do not let your life be as painful as mine was. I don't think anyone's could be as painful as yours, mate. Oh, I do not oh. hold reservations against you as you tried your best to keep me alive. I command death. I command you for that. What? It's commend. <laughs> I can't. Right, commend you for that. Goodbye, Bradley, and good luck. The tune. My name is Kyle. Blood whistle continued to play as the screen panned out of Mario's hell. <laughs> How he knew my name is Bradley continues to befuddle me. How he could have such depth, such personality. I don't know whether this is a result of the game being as haunted as it truly is. Or the fact that someone could have been captured inside of the rum. Oh, whatever the reason oh. of this. 
of everything that has come to pass with this abomination i'm glad that i'm finally done i have made all of my goodbyes at the beginning of this post i hope one of you takes the time to save this blog or at the very least to show the world the hell i have put myself through for no good reason i sure hope that the demented creator of this game isn't festering in the same hell I'm headed for. Goodbye, everyone. This blog was the last recorded statement of Bradley before his death. His roommate discovered him four hours after he made the latest post. Bradley committed suicide using a recorder that he plunged through his trachea. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, what an ending. Yeah, they, they, they left out the bit where he was dressed up like Batman and had a there belt around his there neck. There are no comments. No that. comments. Um, um, how long have we been I have no for? comment. It's, um, um, okay, um, let's find out. Okay. Um, an hour. An hour and ten minutes. An hour. We've wasted an hour of our lives. Uh, oh, my God. We, we have in, an hour, in an hour and ten minutes, we could have watched a really good movie. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know about you, but I'm going to go find my recorder and put it through my trachea. Um, trachea. This is the worst one we've ever done. It might be, actually, because um, it was hard to even... Be, it's, it's hard like, to... Like, to like, we couldn't even be funny on this one. Like, we, had we had to, to s- resort to just singing to I make it funny. I like right. the shit. To- <laughs> let's see. Like, like, the three words we've done, like, Thomas, Sonny Gixi, and I hate you, like... Lots of I hate you was the worst. I no, ha- this was worse than I hate you. Because, yeah, well, that was... This was... Like, it had some funny things in it at the beginning, but... Then it's like around the middle when we had we had to resort to reading fucking books. Yeah, the thing is with I hate you was there were all those funny pictures and everything. Yeah, and this was just like Thomas. Was, Thomas was just. There's more glory. Thomas was just a fan fiction. Yeah, and and it's easy to make fun of that. And yeah, but the, no, this is far and away the worst one we've ever read. I I I uh, would like to send like out to a, be a pers- little butterfly. No, I would like to send out a personal apology for every single person who has um, subscribed to us and. Uh, fested upon this and watched all eight parts, which I assume there will be eight <laughs> fucking eight parts, parts to it. <laughs> yeah. Will there be? Would it be worth eight parts? No. And for that, I I'm sorry, and I hope that this doesn't. Uh, if you don't decide just to delete this and to call off yeah, <laughs> the whole channel, doesn't, doesn't tarnish our find, reputation find, in find any way. Finally killed. All right, I'm gonna do the subscribe bit now. Okay. Click my face to subscribe, or subscribe to my other channel. But don't leave a comment, cause I hate you.